Oh, oh, hi. Didn't see you there. If you're watching this, it's because you want to get rid of ticks for good. And you're not alone. There is simply tens of thousands and thousands of billions and billions of people who get affected by this every single day. Now, after decades of research, we've come up with the easiest way how to get rid of a tick for good. And the designers at Tectonic Onic came up with this little neat invention. It's basically called the flick and burn because what you're gonna do is flick the tick once it's on you and then burn it. So let's say you're out hunting or something, you're just gonna wanna flick it and burn, okay? Flick and burn. Guys, it's very important that you don't burn and then flick because once you burn yourself, you will catch fire and you don't want to be the laughing stock of the hunting season because on opening day you became a flaming torpedo running through the woods uh, your buddies will not live it down uh, I can promise you that uh, take it from experience but uh, yeah so you guys you're gonna want to flick and then burn uh, we'll actually take you out into the field and show you basically how, how it is alright guys we're back in the field we're about to set up for a hunt don't mind the uh, fence behind me. That's just one way of hunting. Um, I don't recommend you do it, but to each its own. So uh, with me here, I have a replicated size of a tick. Uh, normally ticks get between two and four pounds, uh, depending on the age and how much uh, flesh it's been eating at. So I have a average size tick here. So let's say you're hunting and you notice this thing walks up on you, what you're going to want to do is slowly reach for your flick and burn, which I keep always on the side of the tree. So you're just going to want to grab it and then up. Uh, God damn. All right. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is grab your flick and burn slowly, uh, grab the tick, flick it, and then burn it. It'll be imperative if you turn on the butane. Uh, it actually also comes odorless for uh, you uh, safety hunters out there who don't want to be smelled. And then you burn. Um, this model here actually is one of our older prototypes. It's a, a one size fitter aller, uh, but the new prototypes actually have an extendable reach. So in case you've been training the, uh, the muscles, uh, and you flick too far, you'll be able to extend it even further to make sure you get that long distance kill on the uh, on the tick. So it's just something to be mindful of. Uh, we'll sell both, but uh, this is just the old prototype. It's the one size fitter aller. And you could also buy the, uh, the extendable one. But hey, don't take my word for it. Listen to one of only two other people on this entire planet that have tried the flick and burn. And you'll see why you're gonna wanna get one for yourself. What's up y'all, the name's Carl from Carl's Bait and Tackle Shop down in East Central Florida. Uh, just here to talk about that flick and burn. Oh boy, let me tell you, my brother's invented some crazy things over the years, but that's gotta be top two. Uh, first thing he ever invented that was the best is probably air. Uh, air to breathe, uh, man, without it I'd pretty much be dead. Uh, he only charges me like $200 for it a month. Keep it in a little jar about, yeah, big. It's, uh, I don't know what I'd do without him. But uh, this damn flick and burn, let me tell you, <laughs> it, it darn near, oh, it, it, it works. It works, okay? Uh, don't let anyone else tell you it doesn't, but <laughs> it'll, it'll do the job, you know, it'll burn. Um, I ain't, I ain't so good in front of a camera and get a little shaky, you know, in case the CIA is watching. Uh, but, uh, I mean, as far as the flick and burn, you know, top notch. Best flick and burn I've ever used, bar none. Bar none. Um, uh, just, just buy it, you know. Um, you know, uh, he, he always tells me, you know, go to Amazon, get it. But, I, I mean, I ain't about to go no damn jungle. Um, uh, I don't know where exactly I'm supposed to find a flick and burn in the middle of the jungle, but uh, I ain't about to go start looking. Um, 
hope there was an easier way. Maybe he could talk to his publicist or some marketing research team, and maybe they could, you know, figure it out. But uh, definitely, if you could find a flick and burn, definitely use the flick and burn. Uh, if, as long as you flick, it'll burn. So uh, pick yourselves up one or maybe two, and uh, you know, if you want to shit me one, because yeah, just let me know. Uh, uh, thanks for that, Carl. Love you, bro. Now you're probably thinking, oh my god, how am I gonna afford this product? It's probably so good, it's worth millions and millions of dollars. Well, you're wrong. It's actually worth only a million. But the reason why it's worth that is because we use the best equipment out there at Tectonic Tonics. We use clear tape so the animals can't see it. We use a black rod, extendable as well, for extra secureness and shadiness. And we use the red butane barbecue lighter because it could also act as a barbecue lighter for when you're on the woods and you happen to find a barbecue and you happen to kill an animal and you want to do both, we got you covered. Order in the next 20 years and receive not one flick and burn, but a second flick and burn absolutely free, along with a golf set, a wheelbarrow, and my neighbor's cat. Limited time offer. Anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. And if you happen to go to the Amazon, can you just pick me up one of them things? Because uh, I ain't about to go in the goddamn no Jaguar Dan for a piece of junk that's $2.99 at best. It's a freaking broom pole and a barbecue ladder. Anyways, if you want to see us do any other different uh, inventions here, uh, hit us up in the comments below. And uh, hey, God damn it, Carl, that's my infomercial. That's the go. Man, ticks really tick me off. <laughs> uh, if you happen to go to the Amazon, goddamn bird. Do we gotta keep this going? The clock is ticking. <laughs> Shut your mouth. I don't like the look of you either. Hey, did I ever tell you this one time? I kept the Daniel jar full of ticks, and on Halloween night I went out for tick or treating. And if they didn't give me no candy, I freaking flicked the tick at them. <laughs> That's right. Uh, fly away.